I'm doing something quite different today. That I'm actually, I'm doing this video, believe it or not, I'm recording this video on a, a Samsung smartphone. Yeah, I'm not using it as a phone. I just, I don't even have a SIM card in it. But the whole purpose of this video, somebody asked me the other day about doing a video about cameras. What cameras to bring to Ecuador if you're gonna come here and travel. You know, do you carry, you know, something like this? This is my little, my camera that I record my normal videos with. Or do you carry something like this? Okay, this is my, my Nikon Z7. It's a full frame, very expensive camera that I wouldn't, I don't, I'm not going to go so far to say that it's a, professional grade or pro level camera, it's, it's pro amateur I guess, but anyway, some people would probably argue with me on that, or I carry the video camera like the one in the background here. So, but it doesn't make any difference to tell you the truth, I mean there's, I, 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 what I did when, when my friend asked me about doing this video, he, I said, you know, I thought to myself, let me see, get this level, I thought to myself, how can I do a video on cameras nowadays when everybody that has one of these has a camera? Why why invest the money, you know, to to go out and purchase a camera? So what I did was I utilized ChatGPT to do my research for me, and I just asked AI said what three cameras do you recommend for traveling? Compact cameras, inexpensive cameras to travel with. And ChatGPT came up with three different choices. One of them was the Nikon Coolpix, uh, the Sony CyberShot, and then the other one was a Canon PowerShot, Elf. I used to have one of those. All of these cameras were less than $1,000, okay? My recommendation for you folks, if you're gonna come here and you wanna bring a camera with you, I don't recommend bringing a high-end camera. I have some real high-end gear here that I brought with me and I hardly ever take it out of this apartment. If I do, I'm taking security with me. I hate to say that about you, Ecuador, but you know, I don't trust you and I don't, you know, petty crime is a real problem here, and I don't want to be walking around the streets of Ecuador with $10,000 worth of camera gear. The camera I just showed you there is, is that and that lens is at least $10,000. But you can do just as good with the little Canon, little pocket camera. I like this, this one here. I like this one that, I, that popped up here. This is a little pocket camera. I, these things are great. You can, they're small enough. You can carry it in your purse. You can carry it in your pocket. Guys, if you're wearing cargo shorts, you know, you can put put it in your shorts pocket. Nobody even know you got it. And when you're ready to take a picture, you take it out. And then again, same thing. You can do all this with a cell phone. So I went on Amazon looking for cameras. And oh my God, there's so many different choices to make. It really just depends on your budget and how sophisticated you want to be. Folks, a camera is a camera is a camera. What's important is the quality of the glass that you got on the front of it, the lens. And then second thing is how, how, how you, do you know your camera? Do you, do you know how to operate it? Do you understand all the controls on it? And then the third thing is, of course, is post editing, you know, post processing. And what do you do with the images after you're done with them? I can show you pictures that I've taken with my pro camera that looked like blah, but when I got through editing, which I spent years learning how to do, I made it look in, like an award-winning photograph. So here's an example. Here's a before, and here's the same shot afterwards. So, but that's what I like to do. I'm a photographer. I'm a professional amateur photographer, and that's what I like to do. So. I don't expect you to do the same thing. If you live here, here in Monte, and you want to get into photography and you want to study it and learn it, okay, get in touch with me and I'll talk to you about it and we'll 
You know, I'll teach you, I'll coach you, I'll mentor you, I'll whatever it is. It won't cost you anything either. Well, at least it won't cost you anything for me. I don't, I don't charge for that. I already got one student I'm working with and she's done a fantastic job. So, so that's that. That's all I wanted to say. It's, uh, the, the person that asked me about doing this is my buddy GM Ace, who also has a YouTube channel. He's in Puerto Viejo. There's a link to his channel in the description. I love this guy. He's, he does a fantastic job. He does a better job than me. And I encourage you to go watch his channel and subscribe to him. Okay, so that's it. That's my take on cameras in Ecuador. Oh, I did want to mention one thing. You won't hardly find any camera stores here. There's one in Waikil that I buy some stuff from. You know, lighting gears and stuff like that. But, you know, they don't have any quality gear. If you're here in Ecuador and you're here to stay and you want to buy really high-end or even medium quality gear, you'd probably be better off to catch a plane and fly into Miami and pick one up and bring it back with you. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.